Yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Mark here again, and today we do have a brand new toy in the workshop to play with, and it's an Expert 2 LX Ooh. vinyl cutter. I don't know if I can get all that in, in shot there, but today we're going to be making one of these. I went to a local weather spoons earlier, and I seen this great little plaque they had in the in the foyer. And I thought, you know what, one of my best uh, video for views was actually the Guinness Slate video I did, which I'll put here, or whichever corner. I can never remember which corner, up, up there, hopefully. So yeah, I thought what I'm going to do today is make one of them plaques. So I've got everything I need for this. So I'm going to use the vinyl cutter to cut out some gold vinyl. Obviously the the Guinness half. I have got, I'm going to use my laser cutter to laser cut the front and the back. So there's going to be black on the back and clear on the front. I've also got some white vinyl, which I'll be doing the other lettering on there as well. So I've got some of these. They're basically just like sign fixings. It's what you see on like a like acrylic house numbers and stuff. So I'm going to cut some holes in and these will go through there, and then this can be fixed to a wall. So yeah, we're gonna get to it first. I'm going to cut the acrylic first. So how I've designed it is I'm gonna cut four holes there, four holes there, and this is gonna be cut in half. So that's gonna be one plaque, that's gonna be one plaque, and obviously the same with the black, because the black is gonna be on the background. So I'll do this now and I'll put a quick time lapse on the front of how I designed it in Inkscape. Very simple, very quick and very easy. So yeah, enjoy that for the next couple of seconds. I'm going to go cut these. I'll be back in a moment. Okey smokey, right. So these bits are cut out. I did mess it up a little bit. The design was perfect, but when I had these laid on my bed, it was a little bit too far down. So you can see these holes too close to this edge, leave holes a little bit too far away. So we just had to come up a little bit. So let's make sure these fit in there now. So these will go. Ooh, a little bit tight in there. Make sure the wash is out. So, two. Right, so we've got them four on there. There's one, two, three, and four. Trying. Put the bolts on. Perfect. And then this bit will then sit there. Yes. 
Just look at that. That ain't half bad, to be fair. This is the first one I've made as well. I've reversed the images on there. It's all set up, so all I've got to press is go, and it should cut out two of the halves, I hope. <laughs> so let's give it a go. Right, we need to do now what is called weeding. So we need to take out bits that we don't need. And one of it is the biggest pieces here. I've done really small lettering. Look, I don't know if you can see like the letter in there. It's really small. And I don't want to take that off when I'm weeding this. Don't know how I'm gonna. One eternity later. Right. After trying God knows how many times and a lot of persistence, I've got it. It's still not 100% perfect. And it's just because some of these lines are just so thin. Mm. I forgot this bit for it. Some of the lines are so thin and the material's so thick. Yeah, it just doesn't want to come out. But yeah, I'm happy with how it looks now. So I can pop some transfer paper on that. I'll do that now, actually. We'll pop some transfer paper on it, just so it's done. Um... Get this on to here. Finally. So this is going to go about there. And if I peel this off, it should be stuck to the acrylic. It worked. The thing is, this isn't, this, this the, the heart isn't perfect, but it's on there. Okay, right, so we've got that gold heart done. Now we just need to, I don't know if you can see that on there, we've got the word Guinness out. Let me just check my design. So this just needs to be pulled off. Hopefully, yep, yeah, this is working a lot easier than the gold. Right. We've got the small letters done. That was so much easier. I can feel this is a much thinner 
vinyl. So this is easier. Okay. Transfer paper. Don't need much. Oh, I need more than that. <laughs> That's fine. We're just gonna do we can do a bit by bit. Yeah, I think this is just a higher quality vinyl, to be honest with you. Let's just refer to my reference image. So that's there. not straight. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Fine with it not being straight. That's straight, that's not. I should have used these lines literally on the back. Let's screw this all together. I generally thought this would be like a 10 minute thing and it'd be, yeah, so simple. <laughs> but yeah, that gold, that gold vinyl is horrendous. I'm not sure where it's from, but it is bad, really bad. So if any of you are watching this who do vinyl cutting, let me know your secrets if you're good at it, at least anyway. But I think, yeah, the main problem was it was it's just a cheap vinyl. And it yeah, it just wasn't performing as a half decent vinyl should. Um, I am missing a one washer somewhere, so I'll take this one. Boosh! <laughs> It looks good though, it does. You've got to admit, after all that trouble, that does look really good. Um, I might just put this up on the wall in here, maybe. If anybody wants this. Oh my God, that is so strange. You see, so see if you see the reflection on the black, because it's offset on the clear. It's not, it's, that's, that's really weird. It looks like a, because uh, it's not reflecting like, well, it is reflecting directly off the black, but it's all, it looks like it's floating. <laughs> that is strange. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna put this up on the wall in the garage, but if anyone wants it, um, put it in the comments. If enough people are interested, I'll give it away. But yeah, I like that. For all the trouble that gold caused me. I am happy with how that turned out. Really happy with how that turned out. So yeah, there we go, guys. This is my first video using a vinyl cutter. Did it go well? Hmm, I mean, it went all right, didn't it? I didn't give up, that's the main thing. <laughs> and I did complete the project. But yeah, I'm gonna do a lot more stuff with the vinyl cutter, because vinyl cutting and, and acrylic go so well together. I'm so happy with how that turned out.
So there we go, guys. That is it. That's today's video. If you're new here, guys, subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Check out some other videos on the channel. I got some great videos on you. Uh, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, guys. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. It all helps at the end of the day. And they like said, yeah, if there's enough interest in this, just put it in the comments if you want it. And um, yeah, if a few people have asked, I'll just select one and I'll just send it out to you. All right, there we go, guys. I'll have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.